Hey, my name's John Wright. You see the hearts up there? Well, look at that. What does that look like? Well, it looks kind of like marijuana. But, is that marijuana? Is this marijuana? No, it is not marijuana. It is something that looks like marijuana that grows right here in the Pacific Northwest, right here along the Columbia River and other places. So don't get this confused with marijuana. That now, you see those posts right out there? And there's a car that just drove by them. There's three posts over there. One, two, three. You'll see my antenna. You see my two dogs. They're right up above Sharia, the black and white dog, right there. And last night, a van pulled up right there in front of those, and I witnessed a blue van, and it had people with red shirts on, and also, let's see, over here at this here podium, that's past my book, the D.B. Cooper book. There's a set of chairs over there. There's a podium over there that talks about, you know, um, William Clark, you know, the explorer, William and Clark. Okay, this guy was over there displaying hate right there, like he's, got, like he's slamming it with his fist. This guy with this red shirt, 20 years old. You know, three years up, three years down. I'm sure in the hell was it three years down where he's under 18. He's over 18. He goddamn should know better. He's over there showing de a public display of hate. And I've got people walking around here, good people, and this is supposed to be a safe zone. Okay, right across the street they park there where they hide in a blue van, destruct destruction of property. They were taking out those posts right over there, which they're bent this way. They're not hit like they're pushed that way. They bent them over this way. The two on this and the other one's pretty straight still, but these ones here are bent. There was a couple that was here a little bit ago, and they said they'll be on my U they'll look at my YouTube, and I think they were happy with me. And let's see. And we've got cars and people. We've got a bathroom right over here. I'm just going to move this around. No, no, let's keep it here. These people, they were bending those posts. They jumped up on that fence there. The man jumped on the fence on this end of it towards my uh, other dog, Norjack. That's Norjack and Sharia. And anyway, right there, he was sitting on that fence, and this fat chick in black was back there trying to knock that goddamn fence over and I got out and I said you guys knock that off I'm gonna call the goddamn cops myself and I don't like calling cops and I never called the cops but I sure in the hell did run him out of here and if that guy would have kept it up I would have went over there and I would have lured him into a fucking throw in the first fist fight because he was over there displaying his fist anyway and I would have thrown him right over that goddamn rope and if that fat chick would have gotten her fucking involved, I would have kicked her right in the fucking face and knocked her fucking out. And I'll tell you what, anytime you see these Donald Trump little bastards, we got to goddamn call them out. Now over here, I have a jackass that gets in a blue van. He parks right over there to the entrance of that dock. And he's harassing people saying, he's saying to me, hey, don't worry about my dog you need to worry about me. And I'll tell you what, he fucking just goddamn fucking talked to the wrong person because I'll take him over there and I'll take, if he fucking takes a swing at me, that goddamn bitch that says that, these Donald Trump little bastards are rolling around in blue fans at the entrances of right here where these people come through here, right here and right there, onto these things, and there's a Donald Trump person up there with a red hat that sits up there on the top thing today, and I fucking do it. I went out there and I showed him my goddamn presence, and he got the fuck out of there. These goddamn Donald Trump fucking people right there have no goddamn rights to be sitting at the entrances of these things and threatening people, and I'm telling you, but we had a problem with the people down here, with this here uh, park. And I'll tell you what, 
after this, I don't go to the cop fucking shop. I go right here and I fucking take care of it. You know why? I'm going to save the cops goddamn paperwork. And I told the officer that this morning that I talked to. And I, you know, but I did goddamn write their phone, their uh, address down. I have a copy of their address here in the, uh, my motorhome, my office on wheels. Meals on wheels! And deals on wheels, too, by the way, because if you know the fo Father in Heaven and you're happy with his, your guys' relationship, I'm fucking happy with you and it's all goddamn good. I'm the, I'm the Holy Father's Son in the flesh. And I'm on duty 24-7, seven, seven days a week, even on my birthday, I have to fucking work. And I don't like to see shit like this. I do not like to see public fucking goddamn property being destroyed by these little assholes that's acting out. These people are 20 years old. These people with red fucking shirts running around, blue fucking vans. Goddamn beware, they're the but goddamn troublemakers. And by the way, I got the feeling from the Holy Father in Heaven, they've got to be at the parks and stuff like that, just like Malin Park Kent. And they'll hide in the park, and the park has everything to goddamn do with it. And because these people are following signs, and I goddamn know them better than they're fucking doing, because I goddamn know what they're doing now. And I told Dirty Tailback, I said, these guys got goddamn language that's going on that I don't know about. Then I heard about Ian on. Boy, I'll tell you what, since I goddamn figured out fucking things, shit to start goddamn rolling now, didn't it, Ernie Tailback? And by the way... The nations of the world, if you please the Holy Father, the Holy Father will be pleased with you. Now, I don't, and I'll tell you what, you better fucking realize that he does have a son that came down from heaven. And if you fucking understand this one, if you please me, you pleased him. And if you pleased him, you pleased me. Because if you goddamn pleased him, you're going to have favor with me. Because I goddamn tell you, he does not like being fucking displeased. And for each and every one of you out there that thinks that I'm a goddamn fucking fake, fuck you. Fuck you, I offer you peace. I offer you the best goddamn deal. A better fucking deal than anybody else can give you. I mean, check it out. I'm not a real estate broker. And I'm going to tell you how to get to fucking paradise. And I'm not going to fucking break your back. I don't want your fucking money or anything. Matter of fact, I would probably say, you know, if your fucking churches and stuff are fucking milking you, you and your families and stuff, maybe you should cut off the church rather than say, we need, we need, we need, we know you guys need. I see people all the time, and I, and and I help them where I can. I counseled people here yesterday. A woman that wanted to to, she's just in a bad way, and I'm not going to go with it. It's confidential. These types of things that's going on with me, and when I talk to people, that's like that. I have to keep it confidential, and she knows who she is. She had a beautiful friend. They were down here together, and hey, I teased them, and I pleased them, and I wanted to blow their endorphins in their minds, and if I goddamn do it. Then they see my videos, I'm sure, and they're going, wow, it was this fun. Because I know they had a wonderful day with me, just like the woman that was uh, with me this morning fishing with me. She's 10 years older than me. She has a husband someplace, and Becky, and her husband's name's Denny. Oh, look, B and D was in that. Oh, and I pointed that to Becky out, too. Uh, by the way, we had a both a little smile on it, by the way. And Becky and Denny, I, uh, Denny, I hope to meet you sometime when your wife goes on a fishing trip. If your wife's around, I'm going to go fishing with her. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to go down, and I'm going to have a happy time with her and, and talk to her and stuff. And we, Hey, if we brush elbows, I'm not going to touch her hand. I don't want a handshake. First, I'll be shaking her hand, and then I'll be wanting more than that. I won't do it, Danny. And usually I like this thing where it's seven feet like seven fleet. But, you know, if we're on a park bench like that, your wife could sit at one and I'll sit at the other. We'll put our stuff in between us and we'll just sit there and talk about fishing. I got to show Becky today how to tie a hook. And my grandfather showed me and Jim Wright how to tie a hook on the dock at... I want to say it was out... I know it's out tourist lake because... He didn't go with us the first time we went up there, but he did come the second time when Milburn and everybody came up there, and he taught me how to tie a hook and to hook somebody and hook things. And my brother Jim, too, by the way. I mean, Jim, my brother Jim didn't fall too far from the cloth. Jim's a preaching son of a gun, but I don't know if he actually believed. I just don't know. 
some people hide behind religion, but I never, I didn't, I didn't understand them. I thought, gosh, I'm saying prayers and stuff, and some things are happening, some things don't. Only God can answer your prayers, and if God doesn't see the value of that prayer, it's not going to happen. I mean, if it's frivolous, but if it's something that just goddamn must, sometimes God comes through on the clutch, and it'll goddamn amaze you, and you'll go, oh... What are you going to do? Tell, no one will believe you. Jesus Christ. Hey, this one time I got a check for $7,000. And a $7,000 check from this job I did in Elko, Nevada, building this school. And my brother Jerry was, I want $1,000, $1,000, $1,000 to me. 1000 bucks, bucks, bucks. Well, I gave him 1000 bucks in a Wheaties box. And... I said to myself, if I could give my brother Jerry a thousand dollars, I could give George Curry ten percent. And I t went out to Morton before I ever spent the money, and I'll give him a whole ten percent. I won't give him anything shy over or anything. I'll give him the seven hundred dollars. Is what I'm going to give him. I'm going to give him seven one hundred dollar bills. And I went to Morton, Washington. I drove all the way from Chehalis to Centralia. You know, it's forty miles, forty two miles there. And I got there, and I pulled into George Curry's house. I walked, went over there. I knocked on the door, and George's wife answered. And his wife said, George, you wouldn't believe who's here. It's John Wright. And I looked up the stairways. Here's George Curry up there tip lifting weights, and he's got these big steel weights. I mean, George Curry if it puts big weights. He's a, he's a boxer. He's a professional boxer, you know from Ireland. I mean, he went on and on and on at my dad's funeral about he's this fighting boxer from Ireland that ended up here. And he's a mentor of mine, too, by the way. And, you know, the thing is, is I see a little child here and people over here looking in and smiling. They get, you know, little kids, they look at my Sonic thing. They say, Sonic, you know, it's really cool. I don't know nothing about Sonic. I don't know nothing about anything. But anyway, um, I don't know, I lost my train of thought. I get this, I get a lot of joyful things that goes on around me. Oh, oh, anyway, uh, I was talking about my grandpa teaching me how to tie a line. I got to tie the, teach this woman how to tie a line. I said, I always want to tie, teach somebody how to tie a line, so I got to teach Becky how to tie a line. I told her about my grandpa that taught us how to tie the hook. I never told her anything about my brother Jim or anything like that. And. I told her that the money went to Morton, Washington. My dad was D.B. Cooper. My dad was the Zodiac. I didn't know. Isn't that killer? That <laughs> my dad was the Zodiac. Is that killer? Well, it's not killer to me. It's not fucking very happy. And I don't think my dad was very happy about it either, you guys. You know, my dad went... Uh, oh, oh, the money, the money. I went George Curry. I went to George Curry's and I took him that, uh, that money... That seven hundred dollars, and hit. I came to this place. His wife opened the door. George, you wouldn't believe who's here. It's John. John Wright. And I said, George, don't even come down. You don't need to come down. And I said, I hear. I think I'm supposed to give this to you. And I hand her an envelope of with the money and stuff. And Spanish people out here. I love Spanish people, by the way. And then we turned around, and. Uh, the money's gone, you know, and I, like, here, I spent my $7,000 any way I wanted to. I loaned my brother $1,000. George Curry, I gave him $700. Jeez, I'm out $1,700 bucks already right off the top. You know, I don't expect Jerry's really going to give me back the money. When I gave Jerry, I said, I gave you $1,000, and I expect each and every one of these back because I worked hard for these at dollars, Jerry. And I worked very hard for that money, by the way. He thinks it's just a goddamn gravy train. It's not. So, you know, his work's hard. and I bet he values his time and money when he's getting goddamn on the hour. I'm sure he wouldn't have liked to give $1,000 out. But nevertheless, I'm out $1,700 off of this $7,000 check already. So I'm down to what? Okay, you can figure it out. I'm sure. Well, 53, 5 and 8, 8, like six, 8 cigarette butts. God's worked this all the way out for me, and I just figured that one out here as I'm talking. God likes to put the shit in my mouth and make me taste it and say, Oh, Holy Father, you are so wise. 
And just like that, he makes me feel it inside you. Pat me on the back now, Holy Father. Ding, ding, ding. I hit the fucking bell. Now, now as time gone on, I've, I've, I've became broke. Matter of fact, my gas gauge on my Ford four-wheel drive that has a six-cylinder in it that can climb straight up a tree with these big tires and wheels on it, the orange pumpkin, I call it sloss a bitch because it fucking goes there and a got bitch goes everywhere you goddamn go, so I call it sloss a bitch It's orange, it's like the, the pumpkin, orange pumpkin, but not Donald Trump's shade. No, 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 no. But now I'm driving past the Catholic Church in George Curry's house and I look back over my shoulder as I'm driving past I said and I look at the gas gauge and stuff and I said geez I sure wish I had that money back and I reached in my pocket and I pulled out this money and it was less like slam time stopped for a second zap it fucking slapped and I pulled $700 out of my wallet and I was like, I don't know how you do it, but I like it. And I contributed God to uh, that $700 being given right back to me when I, I needed it. I swear this is a goddamn truth. I mean, I swear never to see the Holy Father and a fucking rotten goddamn hell and burn in hell forever and ever and ever if it isn't true. I mean, Jesus Christ, you're not worth that to me <laughs> to make this type of a fucking thing. But I will not goddamn deny it once it happens. And it did happen. And I had the money. I didn't have to ask my dad for some money. I was going to ask my dad for $5 to put that uh, my truck. It only had a six-cylinder and a 306-cylinder, a big six on a Ford pickup, 1978 Ford pickup. It had a tube grill in it. It didn't look bad. I could pick up pussy. God, I picked up a lot of pussy in that Ford four-wheel drive. Women like a fucking real man. I goddamn know it. I picked up so much pussy in that goddamn car. I mean, woo-woo, buckaroo, man. I tell you what, that fucking seat was rocking all the fucking time. I got more pussy in that truck. I got the best pussy in that truck. I'll take a Ford four-wheel drive, please. I like Ford vehicles. Maybe Ford will hook me up. I've been in a bad position for a long time. Cut me a deal. I want a little electric car. An electric car is hot with me, and I'll sell your cards for you, Ford. Ford, who could you trust? Hey, I work for Jim Van Cleve in Morton, Washington, and he has a 60... Seven Ford Fairlane that I used to drive. It's competition orange down there. Ooh, baby. Competition orange. And by the way, Jim Van Cleve knows me very well. Hey, Jim, uh, I get a little bit of fucking deal on a goddamn car. If I come up the Ford dealership and want an electric car, I want the goddamn best deal from you, Jim. Because he sat right across to there and said, there's a lot of people in this town that didn't like your dad. Well, he knew that my dad was D.B. Cooper, and because Jim Van Cleve goddamn never came up, he put my goddamn life in jeopardy and my fucking son, Jim. So you know what, Jim Van Cleve? I goddamn tell you, I'm not fucking happy with you, and I loved your dad, and I talked to you about your dad's death with you, you son of a gun, and I still love you. How dare you not goddamn tell me the truth when I sat in your fucking office and shook your hand and fucking held it. You know what? I goddamn fucking hold my goddamn word every time I goddamn do it. And nobody better forget that and I have the kind and heartless in my heart to fucking help people. I tell you what, this is my birthday and I've set up and I've helped people all goddamn weekend. And you know what? I love these people. God fucking doesn't like people. God hates people. He loves them, but they, he hates. He loves them. He loves. He loves the sinner. He hates the sin. And that's it. And you know what? I got that $700 in my pocket. And another one. My sister Patty threw a cigarette butt on the way out the, out the window on our way to Sunnyside after we had been on mushroom picking prior to the Merwins getting murdered. And Patty came up here, and she was during, with the Mer, up here at the Merwins with the Merwins and my family and stuff during the time the Merwins got murdered. And I don't give a fuck about my family no more. I'll tell you guys the goddamn truth. Why? Because my fucking life depends on it. Because I have to keep in good standards with the Holy Father, or the Holy Father won't have any good standings with the world at all. 
you know, I want to be in the Holy Father's good goddamn grace. Because you know why? Because the fucking Holy Father comes down on the fucking world. I feel like I'm goddamn guilty of some of it. But I don't feel like I'm guilty of goddamn any of it now that I stood up and I'm doing the Holy Father's work like he wants it done. And, you know, I don't mean to come off strong, but Jesus Christ, what do you do when these sort of Republican bastards are out here breaking our fucking property and stuff and we're fucking blaming it on Muslims and Mexicans and they want to get a trade thing. And by the way, these bathrooms up here are a goddamn issue. I made it an issue this morning with the police officer. I made it an issue, this whole thing with this thing. He told me that somebody had backed into one of them and there is a dent in one of them. I think you could turn it and maybe that is appropriate for him to tell me that. But without him coming down here and actually looking at this, I actually did look at this and they're bent and the city man looked at it and this other people looked at it here too. But I'm just telling you, if we don't do what's right, we have we will fucking fail. But if we do what's right, we will fucking win at every goddamn angle there is in this whole world and this whole universe. I tell you what, the Holy Father's opened the door for us to be safe. He does not want you to burn in hell. He just doesn't want it. But you know what? If you goddamn don't obey, he got to fucking follow the goddamn law. You know, it's just like there is no fucking second place fucking winners. Donald Trump's a second place goddamn loser and he's a fucking liar and a cheat. And anybody says that they, they're they a conservative, and then they come find out they're goddamn criminals. They're conservative criminals. They're, you know why they're conservative? Because they're goddamn criminals. Jesus Christ, you could be fucking reinvented. And don't be like that, because when you want to fucking be like that, you're fucking affecting the rest of the society that won't want nothing to do with you. And you wonder why nobody wants to do with you. And by the way, this one time, I broke a rope. I said Patty threw a cigarette butt out my window of my truck on the way to Sunnyside after we went mushroom picking and the Merwin's case come after that even. But... Patty threw a cigarette butt, and I said, did you throw a cigarette butt out the window? And she goes, and I said, D if it, I seen her throw it out. I mean, there just wasn't no way around it. If you see something, you're fucking responsible for it. I asked her, I said, did you do that? And she, it, and then I said, you better make, did it go in the back of the guy? No, no, it didn't go back to the truck. Next thing I know, Jesus Christ, I, I said, Oh my, you know, the truck caught on fuck a goddamn fire. Well, here I fucking ripped the thing apart. She's goddamn took my marijuana and put it out there alongside the thing. I told her to put it right down there if something goddamn happens. I already foreseen something that was going to happen on this trip. And I told her to not to do something. She did a goddamn thing that I told her not to goddamn do. She caused this goddamn fire on my truck. How dare that goddamn little bitch come against me ever again. Now, I was ripping that thing apart, and I was up there, and I put my fucking ha feet against the side of my truck. I had a nylon rope there, and I go, God, give me strength. I went like that, and I broke the goddamn rope. I jumped up on there. I ripped that motherfucker apart. I ripped that fucking tent and stuff off that I had and tarped over my stuff, me and my wife's property. My sister didn't have no goddamn respect for anybody else's fucking property. She let my truck on fire, and then... I bought that truck from my brother Jerry and I didn't have the title to it yet. He had farmer's insurance. And by the way, farmer's insurance paid off. He took the check. It covered the money for the rest of the truck, but it was my wife and my stuff that was in there. They took off with Patty and them and they took off to Washington State, the three of them. They were all up here during the time of the Merwin's murder. You know what? This goddamn shit is, is on my heart, and I goddamn know it. If I fucking know things, I'm responsible for them. They fucking framed an innocent man, Rick Rife. This is Memorial Day. I've got dead people that's fucking in the that's in the cemeteries and stuff, and these goddamn people are responsible. How about Rhonda Reynolds, the state patrol? She was at my house. And they fucking murdered her to keep that goddamn silence because of my attorney, James Rowland, and the Department of L&I. You know what? I got to contact the Department of L&I this week 
and we're going to do a little bit of goddamn talking besides the normal fucking that shit I need to goddamn complete and do. By the way, my paperwork is goddamn in for the next fucking year on that one, but we got goddamn other issues that we're going to goddamn go through because this has everything to do with Norjack, the FBI, the fucking fight in the Middle East, and I'm the son of fucking God, and I goddamn can prove it. And they goddamn know it, too. I goddamn know it. And I'll tell you what. When I see destruction of property out here, and I got out of my vehicle, and I said, get off that goddamn fence right now. And I fucking stood there, and I fucking looked at him. I gave him the fucking eye. He goddamn gave me one deterrent look. I fucking just looked at him. He fucking started getting going around. He started getting in his fucking truck. He got in the side of the door, the door on this van rolls open on this side and by the way it leaks goddamn motor oil I was and I'm thankful that it does because their fucking truck's gonna break down because they're dirty goddamn people and God's gonna fucking ruin their fucking vehicle and their whole life. And they're fucking bitter, you know why? Because they're fucking acting out for against everything that God has to offer and they're being little goddamn shits or little goddamn Donald Trump fuckers. And by the way, we don't need them anymore. These people that's wearing red shirts and stuff and driving in blue vans is just fucking using a blue van to cover up who the fuck they are. You know, they are what they are. And these goddamn people, they're either driving a blue van or they're driving a fucking, um, a red fucking truck. And they want to fucking pass them off as a fucking either a tough Republican or a gay person who will drive a red truck too. Hey, Girls wear red panties. Girls drive red cars that fucking have high fucking sex lives. And I goddamn know that for a fact. I've hooked up with too many fucking women driving red fucking cars. I've taken a fucking, you know, survey. The survey says the chick in the red car is going to goddamn get put out tonight. And she puts out all the time, guys. Jesus Christ. Now the guy that drives the red truck, he puts out all the time, too, guys. <laughs> you know, they goddamn know it. And they fucking related to it a long time ago just become a normal thing for them. Jesus Christ, that there's just goddamn like the birds and the bees, the people of pretty soon they're just all doing it. Now look, when you're in Rome, you do what the Romans do and just what they did. And let's see. Does this look like marijuana? It does. It does look like marijuana, doesn't it? And those things are bent over there and those people fucking bent it. And I told those people and everybody here Hey, if they break out my goddamn windows, do you think they should get fucking let, uh, uh, a pass? Well, they just bent those goddamn posts right there. Do you think they should get a goddamn pass? You know, before this video's over, I'm going to unplug this, and I'm going to walk it out there and make sure you guys know what these bitches have done. I want you to fucking see it. It's uncalled for. This is Donald Trump's chicks, bitches whatever they're not women i won't give women a bad fucking thing about that but let's go see this right now i'll walk you out there i want you to see this the guy was out here fucking displaying damage on this property and you know what i'm just goddamn sick of it i won't fucking turn my fucking head to bullshit and by the way i'm the son of god who would i be to be a fucking goddamn coward i went to the fucking the fire department, because the police department doesn't have a little mail slot to put uh, something in there with the people's description of what they wore, of red shirts and everything. It's already a goddamn done deal, you know. And I don't give a fuck. That's public fucking property. And people like me will be goddamn blamed for doing something like that down here at this thing. And I think people should be goddamn sick of it. Just because there's Spanish people down there don't mean that we should blame it on them. You see these posts? I'm sure you see those posts. I got glare out here, but I'm sure that they're there. That's goddamn bullshit. And they were on that fence right there. He's sitting right there on that fence, and they were trying to rip that goddamn fence off last night. You know how much that fucking fence costs? Well, that fence cost goddamn a lot of money. And we saved it last night, and that fence never got ripped down by a bunch of goddamn Republican fucking wannabe renegades. And they're renegades is what they are. I was right there in my motorhome. Why should I goddamn put up with it? 
somebody parked right fucking here destruction of goddamn property right there and I'm right there and you think I'm supposed to goddamn fucking be a coward goddamn fuck you and you see this rail right here he sat right on this goddamn rail like he's goddamn king fucking king with a fucking red shirt on will get fucking killed in my goddamn book and that woman sat right here and fucking tried to rip this goddamn fence off now we wouldn't have this maybe the park would have gotten shut down now look you want to see what the other bitch about this is by the way fuck you I'm John Wright and I could goddamn complain right here this is a woman's bathroom and that goddamn door's locked and they're locking this on purpose there's nothing wrong with that fucking door that's the only light that works it looks like shit right there that's blackened that says woman's on it that's on the left hand side this middle door is some kind of a control panel for these two rooms so they can lock this shit up this is the men's bathroom look somebody's done this because this door automatically goddamn locks on people it's memorial day and they can't get in here by the way they have to run behind this place and take a goddamn shit and this is the men's bathroom they're forcing everybody into this as the transgender issue and this goddamn bullshit right here is just fucking part of it they ruined the fucking property in this place taxpayer dollars and I got the license and I want these goddamn people fucking prosecuted why shouldn't they be just like the J6ers we have to put up with they come in here for 15 goddamn minutes and they fucking do this it's ridiculous and the other guy he parks down oh and right here at this podium he's sitting here displaying anger at this is that anything to be angry about I'm sitting right there fucking putting up with it and he's sitting right here fucking displaying a fist going like this that's Donald Trump's thing Donald Trump's canned Donald Trump's done I'm the son of God he's the fucking Antichrist and I'm goddamn sick of it the Holy Father will come upon the world if this isn't done ASP one two three hey I'm not threatening no one that's what God says he's not putting up with the shit no more and neither should any of you Donald Trump's supporters better stop doing what they're doing because if I catch them they throw the first punch fuck them they get goddamn dessert and by the way I like Spanish people and I like white chicks but you know what Think about white chicks white chicks suck and I'll tell you why <coughs> they got an attitude like they they're too good to talk to anyone and maybe it's because they've been putting the shitter in the right hand room and they've got a goddamn bad attitude because somebody's been fucking with everyone's goddamn minds on the bathroom issue and it is an issue you think it's not an issue it is an issue Now here's some guy that fucking doesn't understand. I got fucking solar cells and now I'm gonna goddamn move. You see, that's how people are goddamn rude. They don't fucking think about somebody else. I got a motorhome right here with solar cells and now I'm gonna be moving my motorhome. And that's how he's goddamn rude. You see, that's just how people are. I mean, he can't see that I have a fucking motorhome right here. Hey, anyway, that's how people are. And it's Memorial Day weekend, and I put have to put up with shit all the time. I'm gonna move my motorhome right there in front of the guy right now. And you know what? I should just leave this on, but I'm gonna cut it off because it's at 34 minutes, and I hope you guys seen that over there. And the 
shit that people do behind other people's backs hiding behind cars they did it right here and like i said if that guy would have thrown the first punch it would have been dessert over the fucking hill he goes because right there was the fucking cliff where i want to throw people off if they do it they've done it good done deal that's the way it works fucking republican fucking renegades in fucking blue cars fucking everybody keep an eye out for them they got red shirts and they're causing trouble in blue vehicles to cause trouble towards the Democratic Party. We can't have it. Fuck those goddamn Republicans. And fuck you. If I catch you, your ass is mine. And I'll tell you what, I'll call the goddamn cops after I kick your fucking ass. Because if you throw the first punch, I get you. And that's the deal as far as I'm concerned. Because all I'm doing is protecting myself, and I'm protecting my, my country, my government, and the people I love around me will not live in fear for a bunch of bullshitters.